So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use WL Kano's real-time voice changer. Obviously, this is not my real voice. Right now, I sound like Mr. Beast, but I can sound like all of these iconic characters. I don't know who most of these are, but uh, anyway, let's get started with the tutorial. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open the first link in the description, and it should lead you to a page that looks like this. And so you're going to want to scroll all the way down and you're going to see these four files. You might see more than that, but look for the ones that say two in the front. So if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you're going to want to download the version that says CUDA. But if you have any other GPU, you're going to want to download the one that says STD. And if you have a CPU, you should also download the STD version for if you have no GPU. Um, you'll notice that the CUDA version size is much larger. Uh, the two folders will be about the same size by the time you um, by the time you finish the tutorial. So find the latest version of the kind that you need. Uh, since I have a Radeon GPU, I'm going to download this version. And so wait for it to download. <laughs> As it's downloading, you can open up File Explorer and then refresh. And you should see the zipped folder right here. So you're going to want to right click and copy and then create a new folder wherever you want. I'm going to create it on my desktop. And open up that folder and paste in your voice changer file. Right click it and press extract all. And then press extract. Again, this will take much longer if you're using the CUDA version. And you can now delete the zipped folder once it's finished extracting. So open up this folder and you should see this file. So right click this file, press show more options, and then press create shortcut. Now this shortcut is what you're going to use to launch the voice changer. So you can put this wherever you want. I'm also going to put it on my desktop and you can also rename it to whatever you want. So now we're basically done with this folder. So you can go in here and if you'd like, you can rename it. And there we go, the voice changer is downloaded. So now what we need is the way to hear the voice in other apps. So that's what we need the second link in the description for. Um, so go to the second link in the description, click the download button. And uh, once it's finished downloading, you're going to want to go into File Explorer, copy the driver pack, and paste it into that voice changer folder. Um, extract all, extract. And then you can delete the zipped folder. And you can also rename this. I'm going to call it cable. And then open up that folder and scroll down to VB cable setup x64. Right click this and press run as an administrator. It's going to give you a prompt uh, asking for permission. Click yes. Um, and you should see a screen that looks like this, except this will say install driver instead of remove. And since I already have it installed, obviously it's going to say remove, but you want to click the install button over here. It'll do a few things and then it should be installed. Um, once you're done with that, um, you can run that shortcut from earlier. Yeah, press more info, then click run anyway. And uh, it's going to take much longer to start up for the first time because it's going to have to download a few things. It usually does take this long to start because it has quite a lot of files to load.
So as you can see, it's downloading all of these files. And then I'll start downloading sample voice models. And then it should open up a screen that looks like this. I wanted to take a second to load for the first time. Um, since I already have it running, uh, I see this, but you should start on this option. Um, and I'm going to close this because I already have the voice changer running. Um, so in here, the first thing you're going to want to do is set your in to your microphone. So as you can see, I have it set to my headphone microphone right now. And your output, you're going to want to set it to cable input. If you don't see cable input on this drop on this drop down, then you probably set up your drag part incorrectly. Uh, for monitor, if you want to hear your voice before it goes out, then click on your headphones. But if you don't want to hear your voice, you can press none right here. Uh, over here, where it says um, end gate, you can set that to negative 120 if you don't want to have a noise gate. But if you want a noise gate, uh, you can set that to whatever you want. Also, you're going to want to make sure this and this are on. Um, over here on chunk, you can set that to whatever you want. Um, the lower you set it, the faster it'll generate, but the more choppy it will be and vice versa. Uh, this just makes the voice sound slightly better. You can set it to whatever you want. And then obviously you're going to want to set this to your GPU. Uh, if you don't have a GPU, this should be selected by default, and this is what you're going to have to use. Uh, over here, you're going to want to set your in gain to 10, um, and your out and mon gain, you're going to want to set those to the same value, uh, and that's going to control the volume of the output. Now, this is the real important slider. This one will adjust the pitch of the voice. Um, so, like, if I set it really high, Kind of makes the pitch of my voice really high. Um, generally, you're going to want to set it around 11, but it sounds pretty good on three for me. Um, so if you want to switch your voice model, uh, you can just go up here and you can click on one of these. So Mike, for example, I could sound like Jay Schlitt. Or I could sound like an e-girl, which is probably what you are all going to download this for. But obviously, when you download the voice changer, you're not going to see all of these. Uh, you're actually only going to have these five. But if you want to get more, uh, you're going to want to go to Discord and uh, join the server to at discord.gg slash AI hub. You can just type AI hub in here. Um, I'll also have a link in the description. Um, but you can join it and then um, head to this channel that's labeled Voice Models. Um, and you can kind of search for whatever you want. Uh, it's probably here. Now let's just take this Bowser voice. So you're going to want to click on the Hugging Face link, click Continue to Download. It's going to download a zipped folder. So now what you're going to want to do is head to your voice changer folder and um, create a new folder called voice models. Then go to your downloads folder, copy the voice and paste it into that folder. Um, extract all of the files and then delete the zipped folder. 
Um, you can open this up if you want, you don't have to. Uh, but now you're going to want to click edit. And you're going to want to find an empty slot. And I was trying this one out, so I'm just going to delete it. And then you click upload. Now for the model, you're going to want to find the .pth file of the voice model. So this one that says .pth, that's what you want to use. And then for index, you're going to want to find the index file. Some of the voices do not have index files, and those voices are probably going to be the slightly worse ones. Um, but if it has an index file, you can put that here. Otherwise, you can just ignore this input. I click the upload button and it will upload the voice and then close and you should see the voice right here. So you can adjust the pitch of the voice. Uh, you're probably going to have to adjust it at first. This voice is just not very good. That's why it sounds kind of bad. Uh, anyway, um, I didn't really tell you how to start it yet. Sorry. So, um, these, it should say green on stop right here. So when you first download it, you're going to have to click the start button. And when you first launch it, every time you're going to have to click the start button for it to start working. And then also what this button does is if you click it and then you click okay, it will start broadcasting your real voice through the cable input. Um, and then you can just click it again to stop it. Um, so what you're going to want to do next to connect it to apps such as Discord is you're going to want to head to your settings. Um, generally, you'll find this in your settings for every game, um, but you're going to want to find your voice chat settings and set your input device to the cable output. Um, and on Discord, you're able to test your output by clicking the Let's Check button. Check button. So like, for example, if I talk, you'll so like hear it twice. If I talk, you'll hear it twice. Um, and so yeah, I think that is about it. So uh, enjoy the voice changer and uh, you know, let me know if you like this tutorial and if you'd rather me do tutorials with my voice or just with the text like I've usually been doing. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.